Hi, this is Corliss Blakely, and I wanted to show you a little bit about how I paint watercolor cards. I speeded this up so you can see this only lasts for about four minutes. But anyways, I basically start off with a pencil drawing the flowers. This is a lady slipper that I'm doing. I use uh, Daniel Smith watercolors and some relatively cheap brushes. Anyways, you can see I'm putting in the leaves, and now it's time to add the green. And I use a variation of different colors of greens plus yellows. And with it all speeded up, it kind of looks a little bit magical. It does take a lot longer to paint. But with this video, I just wanted to uh, not have it go so long, and so you could enjoy it. I'm always thinking about where the light is coming from, and so I'm adding in the deeper shades on the sides, giving it a dimensional look. Watercolors are so versatile. Uh, I just love them. You can let them dry. You can relayer them. They're a wonderful medium, and they're perfect for my cards. I always go back and forth with, with paint when I'm painting in watercolor. Once it dries, it looks a little different, so I always add more afterwards. I started these cards for relaxation. I sit at my kitchen table and um, just paint them every once in a while just to relax. Now I'm about to start in the color. This lady slipper is a red one. Um, they come in yellow and they also come in showy, which is a combination of white and red. Uh, I think these are the most beautiful ones. They're really hard to find in the woods. I do know of a colony on Butler Island of yellow ones, and I've only seen them a couple times and I keep forgetting where they are, but they're absolutely beautiful. One of the few orchids that we have in Vermont. As you can see, I add a lot of water when I'm painting. Just deepen the color up and then add water for the highlights. This flower is kind of a brownish red. It's lots of fun. I'm using some raw umber on the side that you can't see out of the video. And of course, a little bit of yellow for the highlights. Now that it's dry, I'm going to go back in, <coughs> excuse me, and add a little bit more detail. At the end of the video, I just briefly go through all the cards that I've just done so far. They're not signed or packaged, but you get the idea of what I've been doing. There you go, and always put your signature on. And here's just a few of the samples that I've done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was lots of fun, and I'm looking forward to displaying my cards uh, on the internet, and then I'll also be in different places throughout at Christmas time. Thank you very much for watching.